I'm fucking ill, guys. This is what happens when you're exposed to far-left bullshit on a daily basis. It's like gradual contamination that eventually results in, well, death. I suppose. So while I'm waiting for the Grim Reaper to slip a finger inside me and tear me from this cruel world, my own personal hero, Mr. Dapperton, has my back and he will be your source of entertainment today. The link to his channel's in the description, so go check him out and if you like what you see, smash that motherfucking subscribe button. Enjoy! Ooh. Time for a wardrobe change. Oh, does that bother you? Why the fuck would it bother us? I don't care. You are so edgy. Right? That's what you wanted to hear? So here's the point of this video. Everyone's gender is different. What? There are infinitely many genders because no one experiences their gender in the exact same way. How many genders did you just say? Infinite now? There's infinite? That is why I've started the hashtag 76 genders, even though there are probably more like millions of gender. Wow, the land of make-believe. I want to take this low. Low? 76 is low? What the fuck? For the people that this may be new to, because I've been critiqued on not taking my activism very slow, so I'm starting it very slow. Taking two genders and moving it up to 76 genders is not taking it slow. We'll only start with 76 genders, or 76 people. So there's a gender per person? So there's 7 billion people on this planet. So you're saying there's 7 billion fucking genders? Whenever you and your beautiful gender post anything on social media, please feel free to tag your posts with hashtag 76 genders. Or in contrast, do hashtag two genders. And this is open to anyone of any gender, by the way. This is not just inclusive of trans people. So you just want everybody to back up your bullshit. Fuck you! If you think that I'm just trying to be a special snowflake... Yes. Yes, I do. That's fine. I'm probably never going to be able to change your mind. Probably not. I can, however, tell you that I am genuinely not just trying to be a special snowflake. There is a reason why we should feel special about our genders. I don't want to feel special about my gender, but there's a reason why we should feel special about our gender. That seriously just came out of your mouth right now. So many trans people feel alone. So let's make more genders that make them feel even more alone. Genius! Especially trans teens who may be the only trans kid out in their school. So by trying to make everybody trans, you make him feel part of society again, right? You know who else feels excluded? Not just trans people, but black people, gay people, and retarded people. Should we be all black, gay, trans, retarded people to make those people feel better about themselves? When you try to say everybody is those things, then you remove all meaning from those labels. Some people are proud to be trans. Some people are proud to be black. Some people are actually proud of what they are and don't want their labels removed. What you are doing is damaging these people or trans people in the workplace who feel they have to hide their gender for fear of being discriminated against because of it. That's just simply not true. They don't want you to hide your gender, they just simply want you to choose a gender. In other words, pick one of two genders. Don't make an imaginary one. You are not alone. You are not the only person in that space. Well, what if they are? Maybe they should own it. What you're doing is teaching that being different is bad. No, being different could be good. It could be a good thing if you embrace it. What you're doing is teaching all the wrong lessons. We are all our own representation. Each individual is not different from one another enough to sustain their own gender identity. I honestly believe that there's nothing wrong with being different or the same. You think both are wrong. What the fuck is wrong with you? So why not be empowered by it? Why not be like me and be a special snowflake? I hope this makes sense to some of y'all. No, not at all.
And I hope that some of y'all can take this in a meaningful way. Yeah, I think you're fucking crazy. Thank you for listening to me on my soapbox. Peace.